So if you like pocket knives or any kind of daily household knife, stick around. We're gonna tell you about the legendary Higo knife. Hey, I'm Tiffany. I'm one of the knife nerds here at Knifeware. I'm here to talk to you today about the Higo knife. Not every knife is made specifically for your kitchen, but I am one of those people that thinks that every kitchen needs at least one of these guys and probably every other room in your house too. I am a kind of person who grew up with a pocket knife and I used that knife for pretty much everything I did. And so my house now is equipped with a couple of Higos uh, just for everyday use. I keep one at the front door for opening uh, the packages I'm very excited about arriving. I'm also uh, a big, big fan of keeping one in the kitchen. So these are the traditional, legendary Higo no Kami. This is a small, and I would use this kind of for an everyday situation, like for boxes or even in the car. Uh, you never know when it's handy to have a pocket knife with you. The Higo no Kami was made really popular in the 1950s. It was actually the every like a school supply for children for sharpening pencils. And so if you can imagine like the kind of things that you would end up using this for based around its original use, you can kind of guess that they're super handy to have around. I have one in the kitchen for opening like backpacks. I've got one in the car for opening packages. And I've got one in the camping kit just for making feather sticks and carving spoons. Using a Higo no Kami for a feather stick, you want to just keep a nice straight elbow, but these are sharp enough that you can get nice fine feathers off of, you know, a really nice straight blade. These things are razor sharp, so feather sticking with one of these is awesome. The Higo no Kami is made out of a high carbon steel, so they take and keep an edge that is banana sharp for a really long time. So as you can see, feather sticks and carving with one of these knives is really a breeze. The Higo no Kami is considered a friction folder. So it closes like this and opens using this thumb tab and stays open. There's no like lock or anything on this guy, but it stays open with your thumb on the back of the knife like that. This allows them to be sturdy, rugged, and super affordable. So the pricing for the authentic Higo no Kami, the small is 22, the medium is 25, and the large is $28. We try to keep these really cost effective so that every pocket can have one. They are a great bang for your buck. So those were the three sizes of the legendary Higo no Kami. And here are a couple of other Higo style knives made by other manufacturers. Another really cool one that I love is the Mujin Fuji Higo. This has brass scales, which is naturally an antimicrobial. So this one, I like to have living in like a fishing kit or something like that. But what's really great about this one, and I know it's kind of gimmicky, but it does have this great bottle opener on the end there. I also really like that when this knife is folded, it looks exactly like Mount Fuji with the ocean in the foreground. It's just absolutely beautiful. So this one here is the Seki Kenetsune Higo style folding knife. This is the Cadillac of Higo style knives that we carry. Again, nice heavy brass scales, which are naturally antimicrobial. Uh, and the big difference between this one and the other guys is that it's also got a liner lock on it. So for those of us who occasionally forget how a friction folder works, we can use this without accidentally closing it on our fingers. The other huge advantage that the Seki Kenetsune has over the other guys is that it's got a pocket clip. So if you're a person who forgets their knife everywhere and needs it all the time, you got a pocket clip, so your Seki's always with you. So there you have it. That's why every person needs at least one of these Higo knives be it the authentic Higo no Kami or one of the other manufactured Higo style knives. Every pocket, every drawer is enhanced by one of these little tools.